everyone, welcome back to another Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. The next part of it in Game 5, as we're about to be seeing, the Winnipeg Jets taking on against the Minnesota Wilds back at XL Energy Center. This part of the game is about to be a smokeout in between, and it must be a win or a go home for Minnesota Wilds. They have never won each game back in, back in the last two games of their home game against the visiting team of the Winnipeg Jets. And they lost one time here in game three, but now they came back in game four. So, will they have another win to take it over? Or will the Winnipeg Jets crush them out and move on to the next round to face against the winning team? Tough choice, tough answers, there might be a call. Now, on with the game. Standing by, we have his me phone along with Life Brain and Nickel is the center ice for tonight's game. I'll be back with the three, three star players of the game. Let's get going. It's game five in St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm along with Mephone, along with Rut, Life Brain, and we have this nickel on center ice. This is the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Puck is about to be dropped and we are underway. Puck is dropped and we are ready to go in Game 5. The courtesy lineup of being here as followed. We have is the Bikes. Across on the other side we have is Matt Zuccarello. Then it's Spurgeon. Alright, dead towards the corner of the wall. Then towards the middle of the, of the outside, we have his Kempersov with the quick wheels and the hustle. Then we have his Morrissey. Along the back corner, we have his Kyle Connor. Hellebuck is a starting goaltender for the, for the Winnipeg Jets. And the other side, we have his, his Gustafsson. It's the start of the save, and he makes that one a good run. That's your starting goaltender for the Minnesota Wilds. Other players, we have his Hartman. And across from here, it will be another one to make a determination to go right towards here. Of the bias. And then it goes right toward the offense zone. And it better is a point of, of the existence of a big try. You know there is one way to make that one's changing solution here. They've really have done one of the best. The part of the game is that simple and it's the only legit part of the game. They always done it the best way they, they are calling for. The better offense and the better drives. They've done one of the many uh, plays this game. All it does happen, they've done it a lot. Here's Boldy right over again to Erickson Eck. With the shot, stopped by Hellebuck. Erickson Eck has a rebound and up over to Boldy. Pats it kicked away by Hellebuck. Great stop and a save here by Hellebuck. He knew he was seeing that coming. When he makes that a run alert, he makes that one a puck and then try to reject that one here with the save made. That's a hard one to try to maintain with the score. Nothing is going to take you over, and you're going to get that one a lot of a cost if you have it right. Oh, no. Shot went wide, and it's now back to the Dryder. Now here's Dumbo right across on the offense zone. Erickson Eck chopped the puck too soon, and Ellibuck will cover the puck here. With only 16, 20, 12 to go, it is a no score this game. Erickson Eck stop again by Ellibuck. Dylan right toward the back of the end. Now who is taking over to Eller. Eller lost the puck. Broden has to recover now over to Boldy. Now over again. Dylan and Corman will have to take it over to Lowry. Firing it around the net. Scoop up along the board by Dumbo. Harrison Eck right towards the corner of the wing. Gets a big punch in in the neutral zone. Lowry face over to Coleman. Give us off to Lowry. Lowry swings to Colby. Over again to Burren. He's inside, two on one. Shot stopped by Gustafsson. Now Coleman right towards the offensive the other side. Now we'll head over to Sunquest. Moves it to Kudera. Over back again. And a penalty coming up for Winnipeg. That will be a slashing call. Yeah, there is an offense mistake. There is Adam Lowry. That's what he was calling and went making a complainment of this game. He didn't really saw that one out there. The better of this one turned to be a slashing on the call. Right toward the blade. That was not that really easy of what they were doing it before. First power play coming up for Minnesota Wilds with only 14-12 to go in the first period. Goudreau wins it. 
Spurgeon. Spot the stop made by Hellebuck. Now we'll try to give it off to Klingberg and glove saved by Hellebuck. We're holding with under 14 minutes to go. It is still a no score in this game. Now they're ready to take the face off in a offense with Wayne. And a win. Here's Gutero. Klingberg. Spurgeon shot. Stop made by Gutero. And Hellebuck saved. Byron will try to carry the puck and clear it out. The part of the deck given this defense is really uh, turning it out one of the better plays in this game. They've really done a lot of that. And you know, this wasn't the only way that they always wanted to do. Stop again by Hellebuck. Alley for the loose puck, Klingberg. In the middle, Sandberg takes it over. He fires the puck right across the ice. Behind the net, now buying back over to Spurgeon. Spurgeon, Gutero, Klimberg. Minnesota regaining the offense now with only 35 seconds. Gutero's shot is denied by Demo. Gutero takes it over to Klingberg. Now Sweeney sets on the out offense zone. In the middle stop by Hellebuck. They get it over again and they are just trying to keep it out of here. But the better it is calling, we call it is Kaprasov's wheels. The longer with the play in this offense, he had maintained for the wheels to pick up and play. Battling for the losing puck, and then race towards the offense zone. elbuck has got a very good pass save here by using an x-ray vision. The better of his angle keeps him here from blocking the shots here, and making the, goal, uh, the puck go right into the net. It is a hard one to try to keep him over and put it in the offensive line. This is a tough team that they're always facing. I'll be watching on Hellebuck, and also on a side, Kaprizov. Back to you. Buck will be whistled down with only 11.46 to go in the first period of the game. Now they're ready to take over with another faceoff. Their score is still settled at scoreless. Kaprizov, Spurgeon, Spurgeon shots and gets bumped out. Number save here comes up by Hellebuck and now Zuccarello in the corner. Kaprizov, back to Spurgeon, shot, it's denied, and too many bodies in the way. Spurgeon. Winnipeg's got it now, right in their own end. The Dreider lost the puck control and now it's Middleton with the pucking rebound. Moves it over to Hartman. Hartman swings the pass to Kaprizov. Kaprizov racing towards the net. Shoot! And stopped by Hellebuck. Passing down, we're nearing to the midway period. Now we're ready to take another face off in the game. The score still scoreless. Minnesota wins the number face off. Nyquist lost the puck and Pia has it all. It looks like he was trying to take that. The chain for the poke check. I mean, it clearly just made that one a lot of harder ones to come. I don't say it's just been really that in anticipating, but it's just not that really that hard one at all. It, and this was very really the difficulty. This was a hard one to try to maintain it. Try to like, try to lose the puck out of it if you can. Here's Broden right towards the outside, past the midway period. Nine quest right towards the wing. Shot deflected off again by Dylan. Now Dylan is over again to bid the bios over to Connor. On oh, the fast break! And Gudera takes the pack, pack token away. And gets beaten down. Sungvest gets that right around the ward. Now the bios has it. Leon, right over to Wheeler. 830 remaining in the first period. Wheeler looking time. Move around the player, stopped by Gustafsson. Sundquist right towards the offensive side, now keeping your eyes on target. Here's Sundquist. Looking over to Dumba. Pass to Broden. Broden lost the puck, Gustafsson. Now carries over to the wing in front of Winnipeg and Minnesota territory. Now looking for the loose puck, and Dumba has it recovered. He's trying to get off of the man. He wants to battle and says, I want, I want to fear it. I will definitely take it over from you. Have a little tug of war battle. That's a tough one they really are going for. Here's Sandberg right over again to Gustafsson. Gustafsson right towards the wing. 
No penalty call in Minnesota. Oh, stop by Gustafsson. He's got a good save here, and now we're down under seven minutes to go. Now the players are ready to take the face off. This game is still scoreless. They're looking for a first goal in the playoffs of the game five of the matchup. Klingberg's got it now, right over to Kaprizov. Kaprizov right in the wing. Shot, stop, and glove save by Hellebuck. He got a good timing out there. Doesn't really have time out like he, he knows it all. Settle it in, and now the puck resumes. Covers off! Ooh, Hellebuck just got it right in the way. And a delay penalty call. This will be going on Minnesota. This will, will be called a slashing, and here comes Heller. Shot! Stopped by Gustafsson. And now they will have to call the penalty, calling for slashing. This will be on Matt Zuccarello. Uh-uh-uh, not so good out there, because you know that's a red flag. That is not going to help for Matt Zuccarello to get up the score. This part of it is a very dangerous habit. Winnipeg Jets are in a power play for the first time in Game 5. They're looking for a score to take one here. Now with the win, here's Erickson Eck, Klingberg to Addison. Addison will try to carry it out. Now Wheeler will give it up to Morrissey to Skyfella. Scheifele right towards the center. Klingberg carried the puck along the way back outside. Over to Morrissey. Now finds Tobias. Tobias right towards the outside. In the inside, others! It gets for chucking up. And Skyfella will give it over again to Connor. Rebounding the puck right here towards Ballin for the loose puck for Addison. Just a minute to play in a power play for the Winnipeg Jets. Here's Connor right towards the outside. Now finds Skyfella. Trying to give a puck pass to him. Kudra still got it right away. Now on the outside, here's Skyfella. He gives it over to Tobias. Tobias to Ellers. Ellers shot! Stopped again by Gustafsson. Tobias, Skyfella in the middle! Almost went tipping in, but it was still kept out. All the way down to clear the deck. He looks like he's ready to go. Matt Zuccarello's out the penalty box, and the power play is over. What a pretty good job here for the offense and defense. They're really trying to, like, block the shots out of the way. They've done a lot of them. They were doing it clearly, and they were getting it right on the target line. Because, you see, this was a very tough angle that they were giving it up here. Out of the line, give that one a good stride. They're just going right around the player. They have tons of courage to take him right towards the offensive line to try to smack him down. Pretty good job for the defensives. Klingberg has it now with under three minutes to go in the first period. Battle for the loose puck here. Sky foul. Stopped by Gustafsson. Over to Boldy. Gets carried up right toward the board. Now Morrissey has one. Sliding a lot across to Barron. Maroon! And it went to wide over again. Morrissey outside. DeMello shot! Stopped by Gustafson. They are just putting it right into the net. Almost close enough because this is a tough one to be on the carry. The 15s are set, ready to take the face off. They're still looking for a score, and it's still scoreless in the first period. Hits right toward the wall to the glass. Lowry stopped by Gustafson. Coleman trying to battle for the loose puck. Hartman has one. Now here's Kaprasov. He's got two on one. DeMello takes it over again to Coleman. The Jets regain their offense zone in the middle. Only one of the play in one minute of the play in the first period, and still no score over this game. They've got to make it quick here. They they could go it, or they could go for scoreless in the first period in game five. Broden! Oh, he just almost had it, and that was a tough shot for Broden to put it right towards it. Now he's the number one faceoff attack coming up. 
As right now, it's still a zeros in the endless score for the first period. Now, Gustafsson will take it over with the win. Stenlin right toward around again to Dylan. 20 seconds left to play for the first period. Dylan trying to work his way in to go up with the lead, and he just got it in time. Gustafsson will hold on with six seconds to go. Just a tough one to maintain in for the battle of the Canadian team and USA team. Just five seconds left. With the win, Middleton. Sandline, stop again by Gustafsson. And that will end the first period. Scoreless run in the game five, but we'll be right back after this. And we are on now for the second period of the game. And now we have to take a look at a closer look here for the first half, first period statistics for our life rate. Well, the better of this raising, it was definitely turned out to be a roughness on the call. Because you can't find out what the better of this ranging was turning to be. Like if, if it's there are a lot of collisions in between for the Jets to try to take them over, they really have done it. All the players have a lot of responses. They could definitely be turning out to be one of the better plays in, in a suggestion that they wanted to take them out. And, and you know for Hellebuck, he's really that good. High rating the player, it just happens to be one, of, one high stick to other, but it's not very that tough. Whenever you play this for the offense, it is a tough one to try to stay in bound. For the balancing of the puck, this range is a very hard sight to make it over and go right towards between the hedges of the run. And door! Shot! Stop by Gustafsson! Now returning into the offense zone is Kaprizov. Kaprizov shot! Harbin with the rebound. Towards the middle! Halibut could have gone in there and make a save. Now on the offense zone, here they come. Pick it up a steam and a stop made by Gustafsson. Now towards the right. He's trying to take it the inbound to try to put it into that. Foligno has it across in the middle. Moves around. Kicks it back save. Trying to stop the run with the head one on Hellebuck. He carries out. Icing is whistled down here on Winnipeg as right now the faceoff will be coming in for the two teams. Ice officials are getting ready to get set here on ice. They're about to drop the puck. With Erickson and Quinn, Dunbar gets deflected up right towards the glass. Erickson at oh, scores! Molina with the rebound and he put it up one. They are so good right now because you can tell that Marcus Molina had that goal right in the net. He's pretty stabilized, very well on the play in this card of the moment. But when this happens to be a tough one to try to like take the inbounding of the puck. This range site is a very hard one to keep right towards the end of the net. And it's a very tough one to maintain the balancing for the score to keep him up. They've got a good start here for the Minnesota Wilds. They have a one nothing lead. Now Brody has the puck. Trying to keep it over to Boldy. Boldy gets a little bumped up again. Boligno has the puck now over again to Dylan. Boldy recovers the puck now tries again. He passes over against the Erickson Eck. Down goes over to Gumba. Gets bumped down. Boldy recovering the puck. In the center. Skyfeller will take it over to the Dreider. Now the Dreider has it in. The Rage. Erickson Eck takes it over. Erickson Eck leads it over to Sunvest. Sunvest firing the puck right towards around the net. Recovering the puck is Pion. Pion trying to like face it over. Trying to give it over to Larry with an open player pass. Dylan has it around the front. Around the player. Gives it to Ellers. Ellers towards the wing. Spurgeon will take over. Ellers up. Larry shot stopping and made a shot wide. 
Now over to Ever Play and it goes. We have another one. Spurgeon. Spurgeon right towards the what? And the center it goes and stop again. To the shot. Hell of a save me for press here with 113 30 to go. Yeah, that darn play is going to be a lot of tough range offense. They really have to show what they can make up. Now the new changeups are coming in. It is a one nothing lead for Minnesota Wilds. They have it up front. Slime shot goes too hard. And off the wall it goes and sending it back to the Wilds territory. Now here's number one for Spurgeon. Spurgeon gets it over to DeWar. DeWar on a fast break. Move around the man. Stop again by Hullabuck. Who makes a diving play. What a play here for Hullabuck. Officials are right now taking their time and now they're ready to do another face-off in the attacker in the Jets territory. Now it's shot with the win. Spurgeon, good stop by Hellebuck. You, you could say that quick reaction was putting up a lot of on feed. The better great player in this possession was turning out to be that quick. Effectiveness really has to turn out to be just a lot of hard ones to go in between. Now with the win, here's Middleton. Middleton towards the net. Stopped by Hellebuck with a huge save. It looks like they're attacking it that much. They are just, just trying to leave it out. Now back toward the other way as they are keeping it over and over again. Now here's Schmidt. Schmidt. Over to Burren. Now with the pull, pull up in the wing. He gets down. Trying to move it over to Middleton on the other side. Now Spurgeon has it covered. He now carries it over to fire the puck around and board on the net. Here's another one for Lowry. And Lowry will have it over again to Sambo. The Jets will take it over to Coleman and now they're in the offense zone in the Wilds territory. Stopping the play is Spurgeon. Spurgeon over again to Reeves. Reeves lost the puck. Now swings it over again to Wheeler. Wheeler right towards the offense zone in the wing. And stopped by Gustafson. You know that Gustafson was really well. In offense of the territory, I could say this. They really are trying to pick up the run to try to take him out. I mean, there's no words to make a question stop out of them. Because they were very that hard. The offense has done it again once in a lifetime. Wheeler has a buck pass in the midway period in the second. Wheeler shot goes wide. Over to the bio shot. Stop made by Gustafson. Kaprizov right over again in the wing. In the middle is out. And Demolo will take it over again to Wheat to Connor. Connor shot. Good stop by Gustafson. Gustafson just really uh, just putting up another off saving offense of a run. What a great job he does. This is going to keep on going. With the better of the play inbounding, Minnesota fighting for the win here in game five to keep the game alive for a winner go home. Now here's Wheeler. Erickson and Kassipa. Try to leave it an open matter. And Dirk Byers will have it out. Gets weaved up around. Now in the offense zone on the other side. Over to the middle of the line. And shot goes tipped wide. Now Pia. Pia slap shots it. And it's off the wall. Stanley right towards the middle. Blocked up by Broden. Boldy with the puck right across again to the offense zone in the Jets territory. Right to Erickson. Hey! That goes fifth wide right towards the right. And Elliot over to Gustafson. Now over to Dillon. Dillon trying to work his way around. And Gustafson will try to keep a playing attacker alive. Dillon missed Stenlin. Winnipeg in the offense zone to take the run on offense possession. Stenlin has it. And good save by Gustafson. We'll have a seven minutes to play and into the second period before its time runs out. 
And if you're tuning in for right or for this second, we've got game six ready to take on with another pressure in the game. The first game will be happening here in the west coast of the Pacific area. As right now, this will not be happening. And Bjork with the goal! They tied the game up by one. All you could say was Bjork was there. Backhander is just putting up an offense run to pick up the momentum. Neil Punk. Bianca is putting a lot of the plays in this offensive run. The better transition is putting up a lot of the respect of the haters. Bianca was putting up with the backhander to put up a back, up, back shot in and then made that one a stop on Gustafsson. This hard part of it is not going to be able to be easy at all for every player that they're getting it for. I'll be watching up Bianca with the never releasing goals of the update. Guys. And here's Ellers. And back over to Ninja Trider. For the next game in game six, we've got another matchup here. And this part of the game will be on its way. The Hurricanes and Islanders at UBS Arena. Then the next game happening here, and still in the Eastern Conference, we've got the Bolts and the Leafs. That's happening back at Amalie Arena. And then right towards the west coast of the line, we have is the Kings and the Oilers at Rogers Place. And finally, in the, uh, in the Pacific Coast is the Kraken at home against the Knights at Climate Pledge Arena. These games will be happening here after the NBA playoffs is finished and we will see with the next game coming in. And if there's another game for the Wilds and the Winnipeg Jets, we will find out how well they will do. Dylan will give it over to Ellers. And it's right to Lowry. Shot stopped again by Gustafson. Now Zuccarello has the puck. Going for an attack in center. Here's Hartman. Shot! And it goes off on Sandberg. Burren with the puck now going to take over to Lowry. Lowry in the inside of a wing. He shoots. Stop again by Gustafson. The better play in this offense was very that pickable on the run. They just really need to start focusing on a better uh, attention scale of the offense. Now with the stop by Hellebuck. Three minutes left in the second period of the game. Zuccarello has one. Takes the middle. Shot stop me. Now right over again to the player and offense. Zuccarello rebound it and stop again by Hellebuck. Trying to make a move in front of it. But they still have it out. Here's a shot, and stopped by Gustafson. They are still getting it on the strength, and they are just finding it. And Gustafson will carry the puck with the save. Now hold the play with under just oh, coming down to two minutes left to go in the second period. Now they're ready to do the offense again. You can feel the crowd. It's a one-on-one -on -one game. And here's Spurgeon. Spurgeon slam across the corner. Spurgeon still right over to Middleton. Now over on the right side. DeMello has one. Trying to move around a man. The offense run is carried out. DeWar. Buck is lifted out. Wheeler with the puck. Racing toward the offense on a one-on-one -on -one fast break. Shot stopped by Gustafson. He can feel like the energy out of it. He got a very good play out of it. DeBios has one. Stop again by Gustafson. He's still trying to give to Connor. And stop again. 40 seconds left to play in the second period of the game. And they're still trying to keep it over and under. Now with a shot. Stop me by Hellebuck. Just down to the last part of the game. They've got to try to fight it off to win it. Along the way, Reeves with the puck and give to DeWar. But the time has already been expired. That ends the second period. It is a tie game. Wild score, then Jet score. We'll be right back after this. It is about to go down. The third period is where we come in. And we hope you enjoyed watching Game 5 of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. 
with the next part of the game, we will be back in Game 6 for another visiting of the place to place, and we will find out who will be winning in the game. Here's Morrissey, Gustafson stop! They will hold it with just under 19.30 to go. And this has been a great game for this one. What do you think how they did here, Life Ring? Well, they're really a great offense run. I like the hustle of the inbound for the Wilds. As you know, the Capris off was turning out to be just that good to pick the play on the offense to make a smooth run. Between the zones of the offense, and you know on the other side for Kyle Connor, they're really into the offense to make that one maintain their way. The run up is very that pickable and possible run. They just really didn't want to give that one a good call. They just wanted to say, hey, we want that Kyle Connor to be on the Jets. They've got a good courtesy to make that lineup go a lot stronger. They just have a lot of it to do it for good. Here's Wheeler with the puck. That covers off right over again. Dumelo to Connor. Connor moving around, shot and stopped by Gustafson. Just moving right to Erickson Eck on the outside of the wing. Now inside of the wing. Top shot, stopped by Hellebuck. DeMello. Now has Erickson Eck back in again. Feligno got a little bump out of it. And Feligno still trying to get it over. Wheeler has the puck now to DeBias. DeBias has it around the net. Pass off to DeMello. DeMello in the wing. Try to move the run. Off to Smorsi. And stopped by again with another huge save by Gustafson. They really are calling for it. They just really got to get this thing done. We have another faceoff coming up. It is a still a tie game. A one to one score in the play postseason in game five. They are still looking for another win to get right into the game. Shot! Stop by Hellebuck! And this will hold the play with 16.27 left. And attention all in Anime Insanity fans, if you're looking to get your tickets here at the Sabian Media Center, they're still available here at the website at inanimeinsanity.com slash tickets. If you're in New York, we only have one show remaining and this will be only 2, bit, 2 p.m. screening only just to score to see the Season 3 tributes of the Inanime Insanity and across the other way, the TBOT new episode series for the BFDI with Jack and Jellyfee and the animation epic. Which, of course, I'm the star of this part of the show and also with two. Will be a great, great, great couple of the hosts if we get it well, long very well. <laughs> They're really not true. Honestly, well, my only opinion can be just more of a challenge if we know the hostess can always get along very well. Yeah, definitely true. You know that. Mm hmm. I hopefully I would like to see what two's got. Sungus has a puck. Passing 15 minutes to go in the third period. It is still a tie game. Bia on the outside. Now on the inside. Here! And Gustafson with a huge save. Middleton over again. Broden trying to look away through the Hartman. Shot stopped by Hellebuck. Lowry right toward the offense zone to pick up the steam. Now in the wing. The middle! And it's Stumball taking it over. Now covers off over again to Hartman. In the wing. Hartman! And goes to check it out of room. Hartman. Covers off scores! Now has the lead in front. They've got a 2 1 lead. All you say was Caprizo shot score. It's a great pass to keep an eyes here for Kaprasov. With that one, that turned out to be a, just a phenomenon after Hartman with the assist. Because Dumba was giving it to Hartman, and he was as a spectacular saving and put a comeback in the game. Now for Kaprasov, he's getting another playoff goal to pick up the possession of the game. I'll be watching him for another part of the saving effort of his routine. Back to you guys. Gordon lost the puck. Zuccarello has one. In the middle! And it goes wide. Harbin battling for the loose puck. Kicks the puck over. Now Zuccarello has one. To Dumba. Back to Harbin. Shot. Stop again by Hellebuck with a one-time shot. 
Now Pion casts one over again to Maroon. Maroon putting it over again. Firing the puck around the net. Trying to pull it back in. And Broden has the puck now carried over to Kaprasov. Trying to move around the muscle. Harvey with the puck. Trying to move in and stop by Hellebuck. Reeves got it now. Pia trying to move their way over again. Now in the middle. Shot went wide. And pulling it over on the right side, we have Vince Wheeler. And it goes stop. Gustafson made a good play inbounding. Oh, this close one. They really are starting to get a little phase out to try to stay out. They're just doing it all they can. Wheeler in the middle. Now in the offense zone, here's Connor. Right around the back end, and Klingberg got it all. DeWar, right over to Shaw. Plays across the net. Now Connor, right towards the, in the wing in the corner. Move along the wing in the middle. Alexander! Stopping near to crease it. It's Gustafson. He passed the midway period in the third period. Reese slings off to the war. Minnesota regains the offense zone back in the offense center in the Jets territory. Shaw lost the puck. Schmidt holds on. Now they're pulling it away. Firing the puck around the net. Klingberg recovering the puck here with just nine minutes to go in the third period. It is a two to one lead for the Minnesota Wilds. Holy shot! Ooh, got ahead of that one. DeMello right over again to another play of Wheeler. Fast break, move around the weave, Gustafson with the save. Holding with under 8.30 to go in the third period. Still lots of time left to play in the period. It is still a 2-1 game. As for coming up for the NBA 2K23 part of the game 5 and 6. As we are about to be seeing for the next one to come in towards for part of the next game. As we will be seeing one of the tough teams between the Sixers and the Nets. Following along with the other team of the Denver Nuggets and the Timberwolves. And then after that one for tonight. It will be the Bucks and the Raptors here back at Pfizer Forum. And finally on the back of the other hand we have is the Warriors and the Kings. Nick Ryder scores. They're tied again and they are doing it. Oh man, this is the back-to-back -back switch. Everyone keeps on calling. Winnipeg has got to give a callback for a problem. Mark Skyfeller has the assistant team leaders. They are coming back in the game with just 7.39 to go. Spurgeon taking the fire in the puck around the net. Now over again to DeMello. Trying to leave it across. In the middle. Make a move and Middleton with a stop. Middleton receiving another play inbounding. Now over to Spurgeon. Over to Foligno. Falling on the bully. Shot stop made. Good time stop for Elibuck. Bolingo in about in the quarter. Now here's the Dryder. 6-3 left to go in the third period. Looking for a chance to take the lead, and it's off balance wide. Bolly gives it to Spurgeon. Now finds Nyquist. Now it's Winnipeg back towards the offense zone in the Minnesota territory. The Dryder fling the puck. Now Milton gives off to Gutera. Oh, got a little bump out of it. Dumba towards the center. He fires the puck around the net. Try to leave it over to Morrissey. DeMello with the puck. Now firing over is DeBios. Try to give it open look. Dumba with his tough save. And the Gutera trying to go for the lead. Songbex, shot, and it's up, and stop again by Hellebuck. Wheeler right toward again to Morrissey. Now swings to Connor. Connor will swing it back over to the Vitals. Now back to Morrissey. Over again to Wheeler. Wheeler right over again to Connor. Back in the offense zone for the Jets. Shot, stop, made by Gustafson. Oh, Gustafson was only in there tight. Really turning it out. 
He was really like trying to put in an offense run to try to pick up his momentum. They really are keeping it going. Guru shot. And stopped by Hellebuck. Some best. Battling with a loose puck is DeMello, and now has it back. Some best. And glove save won't carry here. Kyle Connor right towards the offense in the wing. Takes the shot fired. Glove save by Christensen. They're doing it well. Just keeping it right out of here. They just got to keep it going. And now with the winner we have is Kirill Kaprizov. Kaprizov is out of the, one of the most better plays in this offense game. Got a great goal out of him. He was really well, keeping it right towards the outside of the defenseman. He's doing the best thing. And thanks to all the players, he got a good run. Leon towards the back. Kicks the puck right over again to Coleman. Coleman right over again to Barron. Bar in the billet. 2.15 left to go in the third period. Shot stopped by Gustafson. Oh boy, this is going to be a tough one in there. They're tough shots that can never be denied for. Now they're ready to do this one again. Minnesota and Winnipeg are the tough team to take in the playoffs of the first round. It's still a tie game. Now here's Dylan. The outside over to Piak. Over to Lowry. Shot stopped by Gustafson. He now swings it to Kaprizov. Kaprizov in the zone. Fires! That goes right toward the back of a net. To the wall. And Kaprizov. Kaprizov right to Harbin is no good. Now here's Lowry. The time is ticking down with one minute to go in the third period. They will have to try to figure it out to get it there in time or not. And Gustafson will take the save. Now they're ready to do the offense again. The score's still tied. The next one could be it. Erickson wins the faceoff and Spurgeon in the corner. Kicks the puck over to Middleton. And a delay penalty call for Minnesota. Ready to take the power play. They are just going to be out there just not to see what they're going to do. I don't think this may happen because this could happen with a holding call. It's not safe. The buyers in the penalty box. This could be a power play win for the Minnesota Wilds. And now they're ready to do it again. It is a tie game. The next goal could be it. Now they're ready to have it all. And here we go. Middle eight in. Right towards the gut to Gustafson. Just 30 seconds to play in the third period of the game. Trying to find Boldy. Now finding Zuccarello. Zuccarello in the center. In a way shot. Goes it in. And Smith blocks the shot. Take the puck away out of from him. They're really not trying to like pull it up again. Spurgeon to Boldy. Over there to deck. To win a game. Stopped by Hellebuck. Two times stop. Wow, he holds on and they still keep it alive. Now they're ready to take the offense in. We could get another goal to take it from here and win it all. Erickson at Quinzik, Klinberg in the inside, Spurgeon in the outside. Melanian will fling the puck and that will end the regulation period. We've got overtime coming up right after the break. It's a 2 2 run. Good tuck one to take the battle. We hope you enjoyed watching that regulation period, but now this will all come down to the final of overtime in game five, because this is a tough one to come in by. Yeah, they're pretty sure tough team. You know what I'm saying? Because they really are tough. The better teams, they more they suggested that this one can be a stretching to make that home shot to have it all. Now this was a tough one that they have ever been playing here before since the regular season of the game. We've never seen them across here for the EA Sports of the season. But they're really that hard and can never know what they can do. If it's yes 
or no. Well, enough what you say. And right now, it's about to go down. Overtime is next. Power play still going on for the Minnesota Wilds. If they get a goal, then they will end it here. If they don't, they will have an even strength. And if they lose against the Winnipeg Jets, they will be moving on to take on against the Colorado Avalanche. And now it's time for overtime. Here we go, Minnesota Rice. Let's do it. Power play still continues here as Kaprizov has a winning faceoff. Zuccarello! Rebound! Oh man, the hell of a green not save! And block the shot! Well done! That play isn't mounting. That's a killer on the offense because they are just going right towards the offender on the line. They are just getting it started. They just really wanted to step it out. Oldie we'll with the puck. Now over to Zuccarello, just a couple seconds for the Wilds power play. Erickson up, Zuccarello holds on. Puck carries out. Looks like he's almost ready to get out of the penalty box. Erickson Eck still inside. The zone, Dylan, Holy, and a penalty will be reaching up with a slashing again. Matthew Boldy's in the penalty box with just six seconds left. Then they will get a Winnipeg power play. Not so good. They are just losing it, and this could be the end for the Wilds to pick up the run. Once the 4 and 4 is over, then we have the Winnipeg power play. This could be it. Middleton has a puck. Now the man is out, and now the extra skater is on for the power play for the Jets. Here's DeMello. Now swings across to Morrissey. Morrissey right towards the wing on the outside. Trying to look for room. Wheeler shot! Oh, what a stop by Gustafson. He's trying to fire it out. Now Pia will give it over to Wheeler. Wheeler right around him, and Wheeler still holds on. Pass again. Erickson that takes it over. Caprice off right toward the wing. In the middle, Spurgeon! And it's stopped by Hellebuck. Hellebuck just saving it over and over again. Trying to get the short-handed goal. But it may not be tough when they are getting it over. They've got to get it done. Wheeler got a little face mask right towards to the face. And Morrissey shot. Too many bodies in the way. Gustafson will hold on with 2.13 to go. We still have a lot of time left before the overtime period's over. It is a toughest game. Just a tie score, and they're looking for an extra lead to take the win. Scheibler! Ooh, Gustafson got it right in time. That close call could be a quick save. Very well done. Now they're still doing another faceoff look. The inbound is a very hard one to take, but it may be a hard one to win the game. Winnipeg with the win, Connor to Morrissey. Open look, rebound, nowhere to be taken. Matthew Boldy's ready to get out of the penalty box. Morrissey with the puck. And the power play's over for the Winnipeg Jets. A lot of great strategy on this run. The offense was picking up wide. This is turning out to be just an epic game to make the win. That's all it does. Because if they don't have it right, men are out of here. They don't know what to be looking for. Connor getting bumped up. And Boldy has it. Tobias has one. Trying to make a move right over again to Morrissey. Right behind him. Right over again. Wheeler gets bumped up. Vernon over to Zuccarello. Zuccarello gets knocked down. Bolling no. And no pass here for the Wilds. One minute to play in the overtime. And now here's Skyfell. Pass to Morrissey. Over again to Tobias. Winnipeg in the offense on the threat wild territory. Hello with the win! Oh, it's Gustafson, big save! Tobias fights towards the inside. And a stop made! 
Deflected right toward the wall. Dumba has it recovered. Kicks the puck to Skyfiller. And Sunbeck's. Knife Grex. They could go for a win. And Skyfiller will take it over. Here we go. Sunbeck's win. Oh, how about save? Whoa. This must be the tough one that everyone's saying. Go, how about go? Now with the Tobias win, Wheeler sorts the offense wing. To go for the win, Wheeler gets blocked out. Spurgeon recovers it. Time is winding down. Guterus with the puck. To win the game, and stopped by Hellebuck. Oh boy, this is tough now. It looks like they just got to keep it claiming over and over again. That is a tough one. To be honest with that score, we will keep your eyes steady for the next part of the game, and we will be back right after this. This is definitely it. As right now we've seen what the Winnipeg Jets have already have made, we forgot to make new changes. This time, the new changes for this season will be continuous overtime, as for right now and for next season, will be the next one to determine. With the winner of this game, it will be a win or go home for Minnesota. And here we go. This play is going to be tough now. We're about to start. First up, Kyle Connor. Shot scores! This is where it comes down to Kyle Connor. And you make that move out there. The front of it is a very tough one to see them. That courtesy, the lineup, it's a hard one to maintain. Now ready for Minnesota. Here's Kaprizov. Here's Boldy. He will take his own. Shot scores! They now have that one. And a better shot angle gets a counter. All you say, Matthew Boldy has done it again. The next player up we have is Skyfeller. He's ready, get ready to make his move. Shot, scope save! Now with a huge stop. Now go right over again, we have is Erickson Eck. We'll have some time to win it. We'll take it, and he does it! Erickson Eck was really pushing his way. Inbound it. That's what they show it off. And they did it again. Now another hand and we'll take it over. Here comes Wheeler. Move around and that scores. They are not giving up yet. They are still going. They better keep an eye on this angle for Blake Wheeler. He's not really not passive enough to make an aggressiveness. They're just going right towards the offense to give it off. Now we call that Caprice off. He's ready. Here we go. Shot. Oh, good stop by Hellebuck. Now we'll hold the puck here with just still a 2-2 tie. Now we have his Tobias. Ready to do for the next one with the move around and he will not take it from here. Over on the other angle, it's Matt Zuccarello. To take the lead. Will he move it? Yes, he does. That's number three. Got a pretty good move for Matt Zuccarello. He's finally back in the game. Minnesota got it up front, but now the Dryder. Will he get it back? Moves around with a shot. Shot by Gustafson. And that will do it. Minnesota Wilds destroy the Jets in a shootout mode. And they have a win of a 3-2 lead. Well, it's been a great night. And we all say... This was an excellent run. So as it being said, this has been a tormentable night. We've got to say, what is this? The moment is turning out to be one of the finishing games ever. And this point was turning out one of the best. I hope you all enjoyed the part of the Winnipeg Jets and our Wilds, but the new season will be new changeable for both season and for continuous to overtime mode to find out what will happen here. 
Well, as we said, me fun along with Life Rain and, and along with Nickel, this has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Thanks for joining us with Game 5, and now we are heading off to set a piece. Good night, everyone, and good night to you too there, me phone. Thank you so much. Well, we totally kept forgetting to change it up, but don't worry. We have you all countered here because next round will be the next one to take over. In between the range, for the between of the static of the Western Conference and the Eastern Conference of the matchup, for the overtime periods, that will be changeable. But then, for regular season, overtime and then the shootout, that will stay the same because nothing will change. But for continuous overtime, it's a change-off, just like in a real hockey game that always happened here before. And now, let's have a look at the free star players of the game, as I don't have it up on here. Kirill Kaprizov got a great job at the setup of the screen. He just got a goal right away after, after Dumba and Hartman. And finally, for that one, he got a good ripper and just made it rip right through the rocket straight and got a goal. The second, excuse me, the second star goes out to, goes out to Gustav, Gustafsson with an amazing save in this game, just turned out one of the best, and your first star goes to Hellebuck. Well, he made that with a wild save, just done a great job to pin up an offense run to keep it up for the net and the range. So I guess that's it, and peace out everyone for us a while as the NHL Stanley Cup of the EA Sports style. Game number six will be underway soon after the NBA playoffs, so keep your eyes tuned here, then they will be coming up right underway. For the next game up, we will have we'll have you in just a moment to keep your eyes on the next game. Now we say so long in Minnesota and to Winnipeg too. Until next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.